Danny, congratulations. Well done, Pam. Thank you. Outstanding. A great first half. And, and I mean, personally, I said at one point we'd had six attempts on goal. You'd had five of them and two of them had gone in. Um, you really were on your game today. How pleased were you with your individual performance, first of all, and the goals? Um, you know, I'm just made up that we won. Uh, it helps that, that I scored too. You know, I, I said it, I think, on the podcast with, with the fans. Mm. I love scoring goals. Um, but, you know, the, the team winning is the most important thing. And, and whether I score or not, I, I want the team to win. It, it's massively rewarding when I score, mm. uh, especially two, um, and then we win the game two 0 uh, But I just think I think the lads were were on the game today. Um, credit to Bishop Auckland. I thought they they moved the ball really well. Didn't really hurt us, but mm. for for a team in in that league at that level, they did really move the ball well. And but I think we we were always in control of the game. Um, I, I just think. I said, I think the lads were, were really sort of dominant today. Tell us about your first goal. I, what impressed me, I think, was you must have seen it quite late because Josh has gone for the header. Yeah, well, it's, I've seen it flick off Josh, and to be honest with you, it hit me on the chin. <laughs> so as it's come down, I've tried to chest it, but it was just a little bit too high, yeah. and it's caught me on the chin, but I've managed to like chin chest and then volley. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, made up it went in, and I, one of those, as soon as it did, I knew where it was going, so mm. I was off. It was a great goal, and then of course, what seven or eight minutes later, you're at it again. This time with the right foot. Tell us about that. And Gary Stockford did well for you in that one. Yeah, Gaz was Gaz was brilliant today. Um, you know his energy and his running, mm. and he, you know for, for a not small, but you know he's not he's not a K mm. or a Josh, but he's really powerful when he moves with the ball. And you know he's he, he's been foul, but managed to get the ball away from me, and I've let it run across your body. And I've just seen the goal open up and. I had a swing at the right foot and it went well, in. Well, I, I said in commentary, I think that's what's what's so positive about you at the moment because you're so confident, you're happy to take a shot with your right foot. A lot of players would try and switch it back to the stronger foot, but you've not even a thought to do that. No, I think in that position, because the ball, he, he, he played the ball with like a, a, he played it sharp, so there was never a, a, a doubt in my mind to let it run across my body because mm. it was coming too fast. Um, but I said it was just a, it was just instinctive. It wasn't like I had to think about it. I just thought uh, across the body, right foot, and luckily I got a you know good connection on it in the twenty. The manager took you off towards the end. What an ovation though from the supporters! You must be loving this. I know you don't want to get subbed, but it's nice to get that ovation, that recognition. Yeah, um, you know, the, I've always had a decent relationship with fans at every club I've been at, but something different about about being here and mm. seeing the fans have they talk to me. It's it's an amazing feeling to. So you'd have, I think, how many were here today? 2,770 today. Yeah, you know, to have you know, the majority of that, that number of people standing yeah. up and, and clapping you, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Um, and to know that I've made them happy with my performance is, you know, very, very rewarding. And it's eight goals in 16 games for you this season, one in two, which for a left winger is not bad, is it? It's all right. I suppose, um, is that me? That's, it's a is fine, that that. It's a fine, that fine. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Ross, <laughs> bloody hell! Uh, no, um, it's brilliant. Um, I said I'm just loving it, just yeah. absolutely loving being here. Everything about the club um, seems to, to fit me perfectly. Yeah. Tell us about your role today, because you you played in a variety of positions in one game today, haven't you? Um, no, I think the formation was very, it was a structured formation, so I knew where I had to be. It was just the way we played it allowed me to cover a lot of ground yeah. um, in terms of going wherever the ball was um, but making sure I was then a cog defensively and getting back into place mm. um, it's a lot of running but that's something I don't mind doing well, I'm going to ask you the, the obvious questions the final question the first round draw Monday night you'll be sat there watching that one uh, who are you looking for who, who do you want to see in that draw I, I, a few people have asked me after the game um, either someone you know, right at the top where it's really financially rewarding mm. for the club or someone at our level um, at home, mm. and then it's you know it's another game that we can fancy ourselves to go and win. Because here you're confident beating anybody. Uh, yeah, I think anyone coming here with the fans, and obviously if it's a bigger draw, the more fans will turn out. It's it's an intimidating place to play football, mm. especially when you know you, you're playing. I've played here a number of times, mm. and you know the, the fans they do they get on top of you and they pen you down. I said that you know a, a few days ago um, on the podcast. I said it once the, the Stockport fans uh, have the backs up. As an away player, the, the pressure just yeah. it heaps on you, do you know what I mean? Um, and again, I, you know, I thought the fans were brilliant today. It spells when, you know, 
we were pending a little bit and they were moving the ball well we could still hear them you know come on and, and that's really, that really wills the lads forward um, so as I said just going to be looking for it for, for anyone really just, yeah. just something that's big for the club or someone where it's you know we fancied well some more man of the match champagne for you downstairs <laughs> you, you run out of room in your fridge now if you need any help drinking it you know where to come don't you oh, my girlfriend's got that sort of good stuff well done <laughs> Danny thanks for joining us <laughs> live so once again thank you ever so much that.